All right, so uh, this is going to be a Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well a Libra Rising weekly general tarot reading February 24th to uh, March 1st. Uh, 2020 and in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me you can check out the description down below and uh, there you're gonna find a link to my website from which you can purchase a uh, personal reading so that being said moving into the uh, general tarot reading for Libra here the first card which stands as the topic of your week Libra is going to be the ten of cups followed by the next one here which represents the energies which are feeding the topic itself and is supporting the topic that is to be the seven of pentacles followed by the next one here which uh, represents the challenges that you have to overcome <laughs> uh, we do have the sun card uh, followed by the next one which represents the gifts and the blessings the tower is offering to you here that is to be the uh, Nine of Swords. That is to be a huge awakening for you guys throughout this week. I mean, it's going to be, I don't know how to say it. It's like, it's not even opening your eyes. It is more like finding a new, it's not even a new reason. But it's more like, well, it's going to lead to a, a very big satisfaction. Okay, so next one, it is how people are to see you here, what kind of impression you're going to leave into people around. That is to be the Six of Pentacles. And the last one that we do have is going to be uh, the Guidance, the Tower is offering. That is to be the Eight of Swords. That, I, I do believe that this is a continuation to the previous reading of yours that we do had last week. Okay, and um, you Libra, I don't know if you are realizing how rich you are I, it's it's the word or how blessed you are it is the word and that is described in those two cards here okay so we do have the ten of cups and the seven of pentacles energy topic so energies are, are pointing that throughout this week it does look like that you're going to start increasingly more aware uh, you know of um, the wealth and under wealth i don't mean only money because wealth uh, could be many things one people some people find wealth into health some people find wealth into money some people find it in love some people find it in uh, family so whatever wealth is for you uh, this is what you're gonna do these energies are gonna make you stop around and look around yourself to see how wealthy in reality you are and that itself, it's going to make you to uh, jump into a moment of respite. What I mean is that if you are stressing yourself over, for example, money, over, for example, relationships, uh, rocky marriages, uh, kind of like troubles with your family, with your friends, uh, this anxiety, anxiety, excuse me, is going to start abating itself. Because for one or another reason here, you are to decide one of the two that either those um, kind of like ent negative enterprises are not worth your attention whatsoever and incorporation as well. Or it is because uh, you are to see that they are just a temporary thing and it's not going to last for forever. And after that, things are going to be as great as they can be. And uh, that itself is going to provoke the topic, which is the Ten of Cups. And Ten of Cups is obviously, a, how can I place it, a, a huge emotional satisfaction of everything that one has, you know. So if you are having a good job, you are going to be very, uh, very grateful and satisfied of that you do have a good job. You are going to be happy and grateful and satisfied that you do have family, that you do have a relationship. It is like finding that reason to keep up living not for what you can have but for what you do already have and that is a big thing because um uh, this uh, this part of uh, the human nature this trait of the human nature that no matter how much we want uh, no matter how much we have we always want more is not going to be present for you now where this is leading though okay that leads to you discovering and for the uh, uh, unfound potentials uh, for example 
discovering that you can be so much more into your current company, discovering that you can expand your business so much more than this is right now, discovering that you can be extremely happy with your family, discovering that you can be uh, very as well situated into the place that you are living in right now, discovering that actually for example, you can work out with an ex of yours, maybe making family together, discovering that, you know, you are very happy with how your children are unfolding at that particular uh, at that particular point and growing as well. So it's like you are going to your life. What I mean here is going to increase its worth either uh, exponentially sudden exponentially suddenly excuse me or a slowly progressing but if you are dissatisfied by that point of how your career is unfolding of how your relationship is unfolding and etc etc it doesn't look like that that is going to be the case throughout this week libra is because you're going to make a reassessment drawing the line and seeing that how much blessings you do have at your account and you are to be amazed you know how much they are in reality so you uh, for what i can say it is that for what for one or another reason you are overlooking the things around at that particular point or you know there are greedy people as well and i hope you are not one of them so next one here it is going to be the guidance uh, the challenges uh, that um you have to overcome and that is the challenge of the sun card and it has a lot to do with that nature that people always want more now what the the sun here points is couple of things more is gonna come but is as a natural progression not as a, a forceful event so you want a better job you naturally need to get there for example, getting an education, qualification, proving yourself that you are a valuable asset and etc, etc. So you can't force those things around. And the other thing it is that there are so much energies of growth around you of the things that you already have that you do not need to seek them elsewhere. So it kind of likes the reading asks you to turn your look upon the assets you can work with rather than the assets that you want to work with at that particular point. And as soon as you do so, you're gonna see how happy you are. I mean, your, your happiness is going to skyrocket from that particular uh, moment. Moving to the next one here, Libra, which is the gifts and the blessings that Taro is offering to you and um, that you are to enjoy, excuse me. And that is to be the uh, gift and the blessing of the Nine of Swords. So a couple of, of gifts and blessings here with this card. The first one, it is that uh, you are to conquer your fear, obviously. It's uh, if you are afraid of, uh, for example, losing your partner, if you are afraid of losing your job, if you are afraid that things are not going the way that uh, is going to benefit you a lot, these fears are going to be set aside because you are going to be rest assured here once you turn your look upon the blessings you already have. It's, uh, you are to see, you know, that their unfoldment it is actually the best possible unfoldment. And the other blessing that you are to be gifted as well, it is the understanding of the... Uh, I would say seriousness of the situation in a sense of that you are you have a lot to lose if you jeopardize all of those blessings around okay and uh, I know that uh, many of you guys probably are coming here for reading wanting to know that something new is gonna happen and it is it is just it's 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 within the framework of already existing assets that you already have. So you, you haven't yet unfolded the, the, the maximum potential of your current assets. And it's not a good thing if you wanna go for even more assets than that, all right? And uh, by the way, those who are hoping for reconciliation, that is a, a very good uh, chance here that we do have a, a very good potential for it. Like said, you know, the assets that you already have, your previous relationships, are one of these uh, one of these assets but yeah it's kind of like uh, the other the other gift and blessing uh, it is that you are going to kind of like understand the uh, the seriousness and the uh, the vastness of those uh, of those blessings that you do have and therefore not wanting to jeopardize either of them or in other words that you don't want to be that you don't have to be afraid for how the future is to unfold because by now the future is unfolding beautifully 
and the other card it is what kind of impression you're gonna leave into the people around how uh, what kind of um, vision they're gonna have upon you that is the vision of the uh, six of pentacles and so it can go couple couple of ways it does depend are you going to listen to this reading and just enjoy what you have okay and uh, and try to develop it even further or are you still we want to kind of like jump into new enterprises and new endeavors so if you decide that you are wealthy enough with the means and the, the blessings that you do have are at your disposal here people are going to see you that you are going with the flow okay that you are uh, that, that you lack stress that you lack as well uh, how can i say it in anxiety as well and that you are completely kind of like happy with what you are working with right now and that the hierarchy is in check meaning that you trust in the future and as soon as the 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 natural progression of your current state leads you to for example promotion or to a marriage this is what you're gonna get but you are not gonna force it whatsoever and uh, the other way however if you decide that you do want to go for something new people are gonna be a bit annoyed because they are gonna see you as someone who constantly wants help everywhere around while nothing can really help you because with the six of pentacles the help that you can get uh, only postpone the inevitable it does not it does not kind of like solve it all right and uh and also people are gonna think that you are trespassing your place what i mean is that you are aiming for something that does not belong to you at that particular point and the last uh, card which is very sound here that is uh, the guidance that tower is offering to you that is the eight of swords your world basically with the eight of swords your world can be as big as you can make it. And I mean, your world, the things you already have, can be as big as you make them. So if you are feeling unhappy into your marriage, for example, with this card, that is because you're not allowing that marriage to unfold. If you're feeling unhappy into your career, that is because you are not allowing that career to unfold as well with probably uh, expectations for a bigger greatness here or probably for an expectations for a new projects while you can be very successful in the current tasks and current projects which are going to give you the same rewards as with the new ones it is just it will be less stressful so um the eight of uh, swords here just only says guys that you have to recognize the truth and the truth is that you are very very um, wealthy at that particular point and once again the world does not have to be money it can be love as well family you know health a place that you can live in and etc etc and you have to recognize that truth because that makes you free because if the truth makes you free then what the denial of it makes you right it makes you a slave to a flow that simply it is not for you at that particular point so that being said Libra this was your weekly tarot reading guys it is a bit kind of like a, uh, a very how how can I say it well the first word that comes to my mind is probably divine in the sense of that it kind of touches uh, these full of uh, philosophy um, philosophy fields right philosophical fields it does not give you many practical things to work with but i do think that it is a a, a very important and major one because um, you know we are as rich as we uh, allow as we allow us to think that we are rich right and we are as blessed as we allow ourselves to think how much we are blessed and uh, it's simply these cards this reading here urges you to be um not happy but satisfied with what you have right now and to make the best out of it instead of making an excuses that you don't have the means to make your life worth your while so that being said once again this was your uh tarot reading hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it and um, if you're interested in a personal reading with me uh, you can check out the description down below and uh, there you're gonna find a link to my website and as soon as you purchase reading from it depending on what kind of a service you purchase i'm going to contact you within 24 hours giving you details how the reading is going to take place and uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around until then bye